Hi everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you a free way that you can use to uncover a ton of keywords for your business. So this is important because if you, are, if you aren't so sure about what keywords to target for your business or if you want to spy on your competitors keywords for free, then this is the video for you. Basically, you can use this method to uncover keywords that your competitors are targeting or free so let's begin but before I begin uh, just a quick reminder that uh, if you aren't subscribed to this channel yet please do subscribe to this channel it really helps me out and uh, turn on the alert notification to get notified bell icon I mean to get notified every time I upload a new video <coughs> so let's begin let's say you sell uh, yoga mat let's say you sell yoga mat and he, and you're planning to set up a website or you already have a website and if you aren't sure and you aren't sure what keywords you need to target so just head over to google and type yoga mat and here you can see you have already a number of keywords that google is suggesting that are related to this keyword yoga mat yoga mat cover you can amazon mysore bangalore near me bag price you can get online whatever so these are so if you find any of these keywords are relevant for your business you can note it down in your uh, spreadsheet or wherever you make a list of the keywords so for example if you are uh, somewhere near bangalore and you see yoga mat bangalore and bangalore if you don't know is a city in india so then this will be a relevant uh, keyword for your business if you are let's say based in london then just search for yoga mat london and now you have a ton of keywords buy yoga mat london yoga mat london ontario yoga mat london drugs yoga mat higher london right cheap yoga mat london jade yoga mat london and a ton if you're let's say based in dhaka which is in bangladesh again you yoga mat shop in dhaka yoga mat dhaka so whichever whatever you can do it for anything so let's say I go for yoga mat London and now buy yoga mat London so this is a buying intent keyword so let's go with this buy yoga mat London now I can see a ton of ads in the maps here at Amazon now what I'm trying to say is we won't look into this uh, aggregator sites like amazon and all these giants uh, what we're going to do is look at individual websites and then uncover what keywords they're targeting so let's say this one uh yogamatters.com this is kind of a repeated one but this is an individual website right so yoga matters buy yoga mats equipment and yoga clothes now let's say i wanted to uh shop let's say i wanted to see what keywords these guys are targeting because i sell yoga mats and they also sell yoga mats and they're ranking on the first page therefore this means they are definitely targeting keywords that are also relevant to my business because we both of us we operate in the same industry so what i'm going to do is simply grab the url right or if you want to go even deeper let's say you wanted to target anything about uh, yoga blankets, yoga chairs and feet, yoga bells, right? Whatever. Let's say you wanted to go even deeper and target this yoga blankets. And now you want to see what keywords this page is going after. What keywords are they targeting? Because again, both of you are operating in the same industry and they are targeting keywords for which they're ranking on the first page so chances are if you also target the same keywords and your website and your contents are better than them right the chances are you can also rank on the first page or in other words this will also give you an idea of what keywords you need to be targeting so you're just gonna grab the url head over to google keywords planet this is a free tool all you need to do is sign in with a google account and discover new keywords and start with the website so i'm just going to plug in the url and use only this page get results 
Now you have a ton of keywords for free. This is how you can spy on your competitors' keywords for free. All of a sudden, now you see you haven't spent a penny. Now you've got a ton of keywords right before you that you can use to create content around. Now, average monthly searches. If you want, you can fill it 100 to 1000. You got blanket, so this is not. You can see uh, low range is two rupees people are paying, and top of the page is five rupees people are paying anything between two to five rupees. Now, bear in mind that all this data, these are about Google Ads, not SEO. But, but you can always see this is a free tool right all this data these are about related to so this competition is about google ads whether this com this keyword the competitiveness of this keyword whether it's high or low this is based on google keywords data this is sorry this is based on google ads data because this google keyword planner is inside google ads platform right so but the thing I'm trying to say is average monthly searches, this will give you an estimate about how popular this keyword is because if people are searching a number of times because if the average monthly searches are really really high, that means you know it's a hot keyword. And also you can get an idea of what keywords you can go after and create content around if you wanted to rank in uh, SEO or if you're planning to run ads, well then you have everything right in front of you. Now, how do you if you see these ranges, these are actually pretty broad ranges between anything between 1000 to 10,000. Now, what if we wanted to find out exactly how many websites are using this particular keyword, cotton blanket? This is just an example, by the way. Or let's say this one, yoga blanket. Let's take that keyword, head over to Google, and what you need to carry out is this is important, and this is or let's say let's say I'll, I'll, I'll come to that later now if you wanted to find keywords that are related to this keyword yoga blanket what you can do is again head over to google and again do the same thing you just paste that and then you see what's coming up next yoga blankets cotton yoga blanket india yoga blanket uk okay peloton near me canada mexican yoga blankets for sales so this way you can find other related keywords or other keywords that are related to the keyword yoga blanket there is another tool also that you can use uh, there's another tool also that you can use this one LSI graph LSI keywords basically are latent semantic indexing keywords and what this basically means in simple plain English is LSI keywords are keywords that helps uh, search engines like Google uh, and even the users to I mean the searcher by the users I mean the searcher to better understand what you are talking about in your page in other words these LSI keywords they add context to your content which helps search engines and users to better understand what that page is all about so to explain this uh, if I use an example let's say if I say mention Apple like it'll be difficult for the search engine to understand whether I'm talking about the Apple that we eat or whether I'm talking about Apple computers and Apple iPhones, whatever that is. So if I mention, let's say, Apple pie or Apple whatever, anything, Apple fruit and Apple already keeps the doctor away, then then what that will do is it will help search engines to understand that, okay, this page is talking about Apple fruit, the one that we eat. But if I mention their Apple computers and Apple iPhones and Apple iPhone 12, whatever that is, anything related to Apple computers, then that will help Google understand that okay this page is talking about apple computers so this is that that's what lsi keywords are and this is why they're important now what you can do is you can use this lsi keywords to uncover even more uh keywords that are even related to that keyword you wanted to rank well let's say i i mentioned a yoga blanket and i wanted to generate other keywords that are related uh to this keywords these are by the way not synonyms these are not synonyms by the way they are really really closely related right keywords that are contextual okay uh, and receive access to it okay so as you have seen there were a few issues because of which i couldn't use lsi graph in this video however 
I created a dedicated video on my channel showing you exactly how to generate and use LSI keywords step by step. Link in description. You could check it out after watching this one. Search through our LSI database. You can, by the way, even you can even use this uh, Google's related searches to uh, find out what other keywords that you can rank for. So, for example, if I type yoga blanket uh, here you already see a list of suggestions but if I, even if i search for that and even if i now scroll down this is people also ask what is yoga blanket used for so you can put out a bl blog post targeting this whole thing what is yoga blanket used for do you really need a yoga blanket what kind of blanket is best for yoga why do yogis use mexican blankets you can put out blog post for each of these keywords if it, even if i expand this now again you'll see a, other you can even see other questions that people are searching for why are yoga blankets called how much does a mexican blanket cost and here you, you see a list of uh, here you you have suggestions about other keywords that people are also saying these are related keywords yoga blanket uses best yoga blanket wool yoga blanket indian yoga blanket yoga blanket scott and all this you can create blog posts around all these keywords and they will help you generate more traffic and sales which is most important now uh, this won't let me allow so even if you just uh, take this uh, take any keyword yoga blanket and let's say you put in that LSI generator and that will show you a list of uh, latent semantic indexing keywords that you can use in your content or you can target keywords from there and uh, that will help you also to find out keywords that are relevant for your business now let's say you have finally you have done carried out all your searches and you have selected maybe two three keywords and now you want to find out exactly how competitive those keywords are you want to get an estimate about how competitive could that keyword be for that let's say you wanted to find out how competitive this keyword yoga blanket is what you're going to do is you're going to want to copy this uh, keyword head over on to google and the goal is now i want to find out how many websites are using this particular word yoga blanket in the title of their web pages now, why this why so why title because title of a web page is like the cover of a book so if a book talks about apple computers apple computers chances are that book is going to be about apple computers if that book talks about let's say yoga mat then everything inside that book will revolve around yoga mat so similarly that's why we want to find out exactly how many websites are using the term yoga blanket which is in this case is yoga blanket in the title of their web pages in order to do that you're going to want to use a search modifier i think this is called search modifiers i think yeah so you're, you're going to want to use a search modifier search operator not modify search operator to find out exactly how many websites are using are using this keyword yoga blanket in the title of their web pages so for that just type in title t-i-t-l-e okay just type in in okay just first type in yoga blanket and i'm just gonna type in in title right colon open quotes and then close quotes and then search now you see 21,300 results so 21,300 websites are using this keyword yoga blanket in the title of their pages so it's a really 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 high competitive keyword so chances are if you're targeting this keyword yoga blanket chances are you're not gonna rank that's like the, the odds are not in your favor I mean the chances are not gonna rank for this now let's say let's say you found out that okay I'm not gonna rank for this keyword so what if you want to use a keyword that's not exactly yoga blanket that's something related to yoga blanket let's say yoga blanket uses best yoga blanket I think this is gonna be even more competitive wool yoga blankets or even let's say you wanted to craft out a blog post right what is yoga blanket used for now let's say you say okay i'm not gonna rank for yoga blanket instead what i'm trying to gonna rank for what i'm 
but I'll try to rank for is what is your blanket used for so in that case let's see how competitive this keyword will be there was 20 okay I mean it did not match any not a single look what I have found I mean <laughs> That I'm sure there are many people who are going to take this thing and run away and then quickly put out blog posts. So what is yoga blanket used for? Literally not a single website on Google's index is using this keyword. What is yoga blanket used for in the title of the web pages? Nothing. Zero. You see it here. Zero. So now if you put out a blog post saying what is yoga blanket used for and nine best yoga blankets of 2020 okay now and now you go through this contents and you write something that's even better that's more comprehensive that covers everything about yoga blanket and why what's that used for that covers everything about the uses of yoga blanket and you put the title of that blog what is yoga blanket used for as well as the title of that page what is yoga blanket used for and you write a comprehensive in-depth article that explains a to z everything about yoga blankets uses what are the chances that you're going to rank for the keyword almost 100 percent because not a single not a single site on google's index is using this keyword what is yoga blanket used for in the title of their web pages look what i've just found this is literally a gold mine this hack that i've just showed you is literally a gold mine i'm sure there are many people will be watching this will run away with this thing and then create content and start ranking i wish you the best if you're planning to do that go create content and rank and if you and if you even rank for this if possible just send me an email and tell me that hey sail i watched your video and now i put out content you targeting that keyword and now i'm ranking <laughs> i'd love to find that out <laughs> so yes so this is the way this is how you can rank for uh this is how you can rank for uh, uh not rank for this is how you can find keywords this is how you can uncover not really find this is how you can uncover secret keywords that nobody is targeting and then rank for those keywords this is how you can spy on your competitors keywords this is how you can get an idea of what keywords you need to be target you need to target right so i'll just lay out the steps here for you or ease uh, let me just zoom this one just quickly zoom this so step one is to google what your business is about so what does that mean example if you're trying to sell yoga mat you'll just google yoga mat and if you're a local business you just type in your city or whatever yoga mat london yoga mat let's say kolkata yoga mat dhaka yoga mat Lahore, whatever 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 is the city just do yoga mat if you're selling online so let's say best yoga mat I mean, you just Google what your keyword is all about, right? What you, what your business is about, what you offer, what's your offer? You're gonna Google that. Second step, what you're gonna do is grab the URLs of top individual sites, right? You're gonna wanna uh, you're gonna wanna grab the URLs of top individual sites. You're gonna you're gonna ignore the uh, try to ignore uh, the URLs of sites like Amazon and all those aggregator sites. If you're from India, I try to ignore Flipkart and those sites, right? So grab the URLs of top individual sites of page one, page two. You just want to see what keywords they're targeting. So then step three is head over to Google Keywords Planner. Then step four will be Page the URLs. Step five will be filter through results. 
filtered through results, right? After you paste the URL, you want to filter through all these results and see which ones are most relevant to your business. Uh, what you'll do is uh, grab those URLs or grab those keywords and then paste it somewhere in your Google Sheet or Excel, whatever that is. You just paste it, those keywords in there. So that's uh, step five, filter through the results and record it in a spreadsheet or Excel, whatever you use. And then step six is uh, LSI variations, if you want that. And step seven, so this is gonna be a seven step process. Seven step is the in title hack that I showed you. Uh, you're gonna wanna see how many other websites on the internet are targeting that particular keyword and the title of the web page. So that will give you a good estimate about how competitive that keyword could be. So if you are targeting Yoga Blanket, you'd have to compete with other 21,300 websites on the internet if you wanted to rank for this keyword, you could blank it. On the flip side, if you just used this hack and you have found out and you say, okay, I'm not gonna target, I'm not gonna compete with 21,000 other websites. Instead, I'm gonna see whether other keywords that are related to that keyword exist that nobody's creating content around. So you found out what is yoga blanket used for you see nobody's creating content around that and pe if people are searching for yoga blanket they're also going to search for what is yoga blanket used for so you create a content around that and you increase your chances of success you increase your chances of ranking higher on google so step seven is the in title hack so there you go you have the seven step process that you can use to uncover competitors keywords what keywords they are targeting you can use a seven step process to uncover these keywords that nobody else is targeting you can use a seven step process to get an idea of what keywords you need to be targeting and everything so that's it for this video i'll keep it till here if you found this video useful please tell me let me know comment down below and uh so i'll also leave a link of my seo audit that I uh, sell through my website if you in case you if you want to get that so if you don't know what I'm talking about SEO audit you can watch my other videos on this channel and so that's it for this video if you found this useful please like it share it tell other people about it subscribe to this channel and uh, thanks for watching